नमो बुद्धाय इफ आई आस्क अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यू दैट कैन मनी बाय हैप्पीनेस और नॉट सो दिस इज एन इंटिमिडेटिंग क्वेश्चन दैट मेनी पीपल इन दिस सोसाइटी टॉक अबाउट सम पीपल से दैट यू कैन नॉट बाय हैप्पीनेस फ्रॉम मनी एंड आल्सो सम पीपल से द मनी कैन बाय हैप्पीनेस टू यू वेल today from this inner guide q&a program we are going to find out whether the money can buy happiness or it cannot buy happiness let's find out money itself is a very powerful thing which prevails in this world when it is used in a bad way you will get the suffering out of it your whole life will be left in the suffering and when it is used in the normal way common way you can buy the comfort out of that and also when you use the money in a correct way you can buy the happiness to yourself so how to deal with this money remember people use money for so many evil things remember the final result of all those evil things is the suffering that is well known and also people use the money in the common way that means to buy the things that they want the pleasurable things right when they buy the pleasurable things like luxurious cars vehicles like uh, clothes and uh, luxurious apartments they may think that this is the happiness no that is not the happiness that is the pleasure and the comfort remember there is a distinct difference between the happiness and the comfort the comfort is something impermanent right once you eat a delicious food after that it is gone it is impermanent right once you are riding on a luxurious car after the faults may come out of that car that pleasure is gone it is impermanent right so all the pleasurable things all the materialistic things that we found find in this world gives us the pleasure but remember they are impermanent when they are being impermanent what will happen at the end of that pleasurable thing you will find the suffering right your mind is not content with that you are not being happy by seeing that impermanence so what is the final result of the pleasure it is the suffering and also there's a way that we can use money to have the happiness to our life so how to do that now when we take if you buy something with your money and if you give that special thing to someone who need that so suppose that you bought some foods from the market and you gave that food to a person who is very who is suffering from hunger you bought some ornaments or some goods from the market and you gave to the needy people what is the feeling that you have inside yourself you feel happy right that means that happiness will last long forever and also by that act of kindness with that act of generosity you will gain many merits to your life right that sweet memory that happiness will leave you a sweet memory happy memory happy time in your life at the end of your life when you reflect the journey of your life if you find so many instances that you use this money in this correct way to be generous to be kind to people to help people that will give you the happiness so when money is used in the correct way you can also have the happiness 
but remember don't misunderstand between the pleasure and the happiness all the materialistic things all the comfortable things that we use in our life gives us pleasure and that is not happiness because they are impermanent when they are being impermanent when they become changed we suffer but if you use your money to be generous right if you use your money to do good things in this world to help people to motivate people to inspire people right to lift up people when they are for, when they have fallen down that will give you the best happy moments in your life so don't misunderstand that money cannot buy happiness or money can buy happiness it can buy a happiness but if you use that money in a correct way only so use your money in a correct way and find the happiness in your life namo buddhaya teruvan sarva